Jai Hind everyone, this is Ravi Saharan and uh, I'm the founder and the mentor of the Ringleader SSB classes. This is my fifth video. Before this video, uh, I would like to thank all of you for subscribing, watching and sharing the video. We are about to reach 1000 subscribers. So I would uh, uh, request you to share it as much as possible so that I can help maximum aspirants. This video will be about self description. Many aspirants have commented and also messaged me personally on my WhatsApp number and my Facebook page and my Facebook messenger as well that sir upload a video on particular this task, this task and this task. So I will be uploading videos on every particular task was just that it will go in a systematic way. Initially I'll be covering the basics of all the tasks and then we'll go to the advanced stage. Right. So till now we have discussed about the basic requirements of SSB, how to prepare for SSB, what this is, how you should, uh, you, whether you should take a coaching or not and how to prepare about TAT, how to write a PIQ form and how to write a TAT basic story we have discussed. Now today we will be discussing about self description. Last video I have told you that PIQ is a very important part of your SSB assessment because assessors are judging you based on your background, based on your personality, based on your upbringing and based on your quality, uh, the qualities that you have will be judged in that particular framework. So they need a, a, a certain, I would say a threshold or, or a reference point to judge for judging your personality in which PIQ forms the basis. Self description is also a very important part of this. Your whole interview will be based on your PIQ and your self description. Also self description will help you out in connecting your personality and writing stories based on your personality. All right, how it will help you? I'll discuss it then later videos in this particular video I'll be telling you about how to write a good self description all right so just like I have covered with all other uh, assessments or other tests here also I will be telling what exactly self description is about and how you sh I'll tell you a I'll give you an example and a sample at how you should write a self description all right so self description for freshers it is an exam you must have you can just simply surf the net and find out what exactly self description is otherwise every one of you know what self description is self description may there will be five sections you will get around 15 minutes you will get exactly 15 minutes to write all those five sections now these five sections are what first of all what your parents think about you what your friends think about you what your teacher slash boss think about you what you think about yourself and what kind of person you would like to become now the important thing to keep in mind here is we have 15 minutes and we have these five headings and we have to write everything uh, all these five headings so we cannot the time does not permit us to write an essay about us or very in, in things about in very detail we need to restrict it to five to six sentences under each heading so every heading mein sirf paas se chai line hum likh sakte hain now this is is what makes it difficult and this is what gives you a chance to show your personality in a very or I would say a, giving a crux about your personality. Now what generally people make mistake in writing self description is first of all they don't know how to exactly what all points you need to cover. So in this video I'll be covering that itself. <clears throat> See you need to try to under first of all you need to understand the logic behind each test. I have told you how TAT judges your personality, how PIQ and now I'll tell you how self description. So all these five headings are different. So teachers, parents, yourself, friends, why they have given five headings? Because there are certain things to have a complete all round 360 degree view of your personality from all aspects. We need a feedback from different, different aspects of our life. So what a parent can tell you, a friend cannot tell you. There are certain things which a parent can tell you the best. Or there are certain things what friends can tell you the best. Which things parents can tell you, friends can tell you. Some things which only teachers can tell you. So the trick here is, or the the logic here is, to write relevant points. Okay. You need to write relevant points. Teacher ke under hume wohi point nikle hai. Teacher ki heading ke under what why teachers think, jo ki ek teacher achhe se bata sakta hai. So <coughs> this is one thing. Now another important thing, general mistake that people make is they write it in a very general form they use or i would say overuse adjectives so people generally write for example i am a very hard work my parents think that i am a very hard working person i am a very uh, obedient person or i am a very uh, serious person i am a very funny person this is fine you have to write adjectives you have to describe your personality 
but at the same time it should have a logic or an example it should be a practical thing for example if you write that my parents think that i am a responsible son so just don't stop at writing i am a responsible son right my parents think that i am a responsible son because i take care of household responsibilities or i help my mother in household activities when my father or my uh, no one is at home or i participate in household discussions and activities so for everything you should try to write it in a logical way giving an example why do you think this thing is there same thing the interviewing officer will do when he will ask you questions tell me about your hobbies or tell me about any particular thing the worst moment of your life the best or the strongest point the weakest point he will always ask you about examples this is what the way you support your answer with an example will show whether you have done it rightly whether you have done it in your life or not so important thing is the first thing is that we have to write relevant relevant points under each heading and then we need to write is a practical this thing all right <clears throat> so now i'll be discussing that what are the relevant points jo maine kaha tha ki relevant points kya what are those relevant points so now let us start with parents what do your parents think about you so in under parents opinion you should at least try to cover these four to five points all right so first point here is your parents will be able to uh, tell you about household responsibility whether you are a responsible person or not sense of responsibility which is an olq will come from this if a person or of a if a boy or a girl is responsible towards his household activities discussions or any other things she will be equally or he will be equally responsible when he is given a job let it be any other job so this is how the projection in ssb works so you will be a successful officer is decided how successful a person till now you have been in your life so household responsibility so any point like i have already told you i am a responsible son because i take care of household activities or help help my mother or household discussions and all second thing is they will be able to tell you about how serious you are about your career so you have to write a point related to your career then relation with siblings my parents think that i have good relation or healthy relation or friendly relation with my brother or sister and i always help him in his studies or whatever task this way apart from that they will be able to comment on your friend circle see family can comment on anything a, fam- a father or mother will be knowing about every aspect of your life but these are the things which i would say we should place on priority while writing a self description so household activities relationship with siblings career friend circle or social life a point about your social life you think that i have good circle of friends or whatever and then one more important thing is a negative point should also be there so basically it should be i would say 80 and 20 so general people write generally people write all the good points all the good points are not required we have to give an overall view of our personality so we will not have all the good things we will still have some things and i have already told you anything negative there is nothing called negative in ssb while you are dealing with ssb it's all about area of improvement things that you are that you would like to improve that you have improved you are improving and that you will improve so it's nothing that it's all negative so you have to write some point which your parents comment now exactly what that point will be depends from person to person and i'll not be able to comment until i see a person self description personally all right so this thing is there now let us come to friends what my friends think about you now friends will be able to comment upon your liveliness liveliness is an again an olq factor 3 leadership wali olq hai liveliness how lively you are a person is how motivated you are or what kind of leader you are or for example points like my friends think that i am a lively person my friends think that i am a fun loving per- person as i always crack jokes and make their mood light or whatever this way don't worry about the language as such i have already told you language clearly don't worry theek hai it should be able to you should be able to convey your thoughts that is what is more important so liveliness is one thing then relationship with other friends how helpful your nature is so i am always ready to help my friends even at at whatever time this kind of thing they take my advice or whenever required i take their advice this point kind of points planning and organizing so generally friends will be able to comment on things like this is a person he always helps us to plan a trip or organizing a trip or something or any other thing this thing should be there your physical fitness your sense of humor your sense of uh, i would say your ability to influence your ability to 
mingle up with people all these points should be under friend and then a negative thing i'll not tell about what are the negative points because it varies from person to person but at least these positive things you should include in under all these headings the choice of words will be yours again when i say choice of words you should be very cautious with your choice of words towards the end i'll tell you about the choice choice of words so parents and friends is then now what my teacher or my boss thinks about me so teacher and boss they are the best person to comment on your initiative okay so your friend might not be able to comment initiate but your teacher or your uh, boss wherever you are working he will be able to comment on your initiative so whenever he gives you a task or teacher gives you a project or anything so how you are initiating that thing whether you are participating or not participation in extracurricular activities your teacher or your boss will be the best person to tell you uske baad the way you behave team spirit so basically friends can tell you about uh, i would say informal team spirit and that the way you behave nicely with people but a formal team spirit as a leader you are able to handle a task you are able to motivate a team you are able to get things done this will be told best by your teacher or your boss so include this point there then again one more negative point so basically 3 3 4 4 points i am just telling you then next thing is what you think yeah teachers and boss i missed one point teachers and boss will also be the person to tell you how disciplined or how punctual you are basically discipline discipline is punctuality comes under that only so your friends might not be able to comment on this or your parents might be able to comment but best person would be a teacher or a boss so you are always you always come regularly on time in class how punctual you are how obedient you are all these points so my teacher thinks that i am a obedient student as i always complete the task which is whatever is given to me on time these kind of sentences you need to write now next comes your uh, what you think about yourself so basically you have written about friends teachers and your uh, your uh, uh, parents everything so this can be a crux of what you have written in all these points all right apart from this if you have a particular special hobby or, or you think you have a special quality or any other thing you can write in that that thing also you can include all right the, this is not a very uh, difficult thing once you have written your all the th three which i have discussed three topics which i have discussed this come becomes very easy just don't exactly take out things and write here write it in a, in a, i would say a, a balanced way for example write one point related to my i am a responsible person i am i am i am a responsible person towards my family towards my friends and my this thing i have a well balanced good balance between my social and personal and uh, my professional life this kind of things next again a negative thing whatever you are writing here negative whatever negative quality same thing the interviewing officer will definitely ask you this thing is there uske baad the last thing is what kind of person you would like to become so yahan pe you need to write so yahan pe basically kya weakness and all you don't need to write ki i am i'm this kind of person i need to remove this weakness and all if you want you can write that but priority again should be given to something that you would like to do as an improvement overall improvement or as a part of your i would say self satisfaction so i would like to become a person who is respected for his professionalism i would like to become a i would like to travel throughout the country visit different places i would like to contribute to the society by doing this 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 any such thing to koi aise particular weakness ko pakad ke likhna koi zaruri nahi hai i would like to improve my communication skills see this communication skills gk and physical fitness i have already told you don't in, don't unnecessary bang your head on all these things these things will not so if the interviewing officer is asking you negative point or you are writing in self description if you want you can write as an add on point but don't make them the focus so just don't write my communication skills are weak see they, they are not interested in all these things they are interested in your hardcore personality related thing all right so this thing is there now <clears throat> so basically i have covered what all do you need to write in your self description exactly what is what wrong you are doing or what you need to improve and unless i see a particular person's self description i'll not be able to comment on that but if you go through this video and try to write it this way all right any other doubts if you have related to self description you can ask me you can comment or you can simply message me as you have been doing now now next thing here is that how to make a connection i have already told you ki your personality your those 15 officer like qualities are being judged or tested in your particular framework or the background that you have shown 
so if in self description if you are writing that i am a responsible son and i help my siblings in his studies and all these things so this thing should be projected somewhere projected somewhere for example in tat you can project it so whenever you are trying to write a story on a negative slide to so negative slide me there are many things that you can write so when a person is sitting sad and the hero of our story is trying to help that person instead of making some other problem try to make him your younger sister or your younger brother he is facing some problem and you are trying to help him so the moment the psychologist reads the story he already read your piq sd he'll come to know yeah there is a connection सो so, कहने का मतलब है कि एक ही स्टोरी के ऊपर आप दो एक ही स्लाइड के ऊपर दो तीन स्टोरी बना सकते हो एक ही वर्ड के ऊपर दो तीन सेंटेंसेस बना सकते हो सेल्फ डिस्क्रिप्शन में आप कैसे भी लिख सकते हो बट द बेस्ट वे इज टू हैव अ को रिलेशन बिटवीन योर रिस्पॉन्सेज अगेन दिस थिंग्स विल कम विद प्रैक्टिस एंड फीडबैक सो दिस इज हाउ यू शुड बेसिकली डील विद योर सेल्फ डिस्क्रिप्शन सो आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर फॉर राइट योर पी आई क्यू देन राइट योर सेल्फ डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड देन ट्राई टू राइट योर स्टोरीज एंड try to correlate the responses in interview also you have to correlate so whatever you are writing in self description you should have a real life example ready with you so if you are writing my teachers tell me that i have a i am always disciplined always punctual if i am always uh, ready to take new responsibilities so you should have an example where have you taken that responsibility same thing in piq also you are writing your sense your position of responsibility so the whole crux i'll just wind it up i'll not make it a very long video just wind it up here just go through the video while writing your self description take care of what are the things which are specifically related to that category write only those things if you can write, you if you given a chance you can write a whole body essay on that but you don't need to do that limited time limited space the best we can do write what is required all right always write a negative point at least negative in ssb means area of improvement always be ready always give practical things don't write overuse adjectives give an example why you are you think this particular quality is there and then prepare accordingly for your tat and your interview now how to connect and all that i'll cover in my subsequent videos all right so my this time i'll make sure that i'll not uh, i'll try to upload the next video as soon as possible maybe 7 uh, or 10 days and any doubts you have keep watching keep sharing keep uh, subscribe the channel i want to reach the maximum subscribers as much as possible keep commenting the way you have been commenting positive negative kind of feedback everything is welcome keep practicing and change